And now we're continuing coverage of a deadly officer involved shooting in Portsmouth. By this time tomorrow, we'll know what's next for the former officer found guilty of manslaughter. Two months after that decision, a judge is set to formally sentence Stephen Rankin in an unarmed teen's death. The victim's family spoke out ahead of the hearing, and 10 on your side's Liz Kilmore was there. Joins us now, Liz. Yeah, and William Chapman's family invited the public to the sentencing. It's scheduled for 9 tomorrow morning at the Portsmouth Courthouse. Now, the family, they hope the judge will deny motions made by the defense and give Rankin the maximum sentence recommended by the jury. If that happens, will Rankin's attorneys, they tell me, they'll appeal. Enough is enough. Sally Chapman hopes to soon have the justice she's been waiting for in the year and a half since her son, 18 year old William Chapman, was shot to death by a former Portsmouth police officer. Send him away, no bond. In August, a jury found Stephen Reagan guilty of voluntary manslaughter. They could have recommended 10 years behind bars, but opted for two and a half. Wednesday, a judge will make a final determination, only able to minimize, not maximize, the sentence. It's time to stand up and take a stand. Tuesday, the Chapman family held a press conference at the law offices of their attorney, John Babineau. They invited other mothers whose children were lost to gun violence, among them Gina Best, whose daughter, India Kager, was killed in a shootout with Virginia Beach police. His mothers are here to, to stand together and show solidarity and love for her so that she is not going through this by herself. Rankin's family could not be reached for comment. During the trial, the defense argued that the 18 year old victim charged at Rankin before he pulled the trigger in the parking lot of a Walmart where Chapman had been suspected of shoplifting. His attorneys tell 10 on your side they filed a motion to set aside the verdict. Wednesday, they will call witnesses and ask the judge for a reduced sentence. If that doesn't happen, they'll appeal. If that happened, we will continue to fight. We will continue to fight. We will continue to fight every day until he's locked behind bars. And we reported last month that the city of Portsmouth had reached an agreement in principle with the Chapman family to pay them $1 million. Today, I asked Sally Chapman and her attorney if that had been finalized. They said no comment at this time. Again, tomorrow's sentencing is set for 9 a.m. I'm Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side.